I wanted to throw this back to you, Jeb, and what's your thoughts on how this is relevant? How is this 467,000 jobs in the traditional market, in the traditional space around the U.S.? How is this relevant to crypto? What, what sort of impact do you think this is going to have? And do you think it's going to change the stance of the Fed come March when they talk about interest rate hikes? Well, there's two major things you need to keep in mind. Number one, any report that says the economy is doing well that comes from the government, government needs to be taken with a grain of salt right now because the government wants the, <laughs> go, wants the economy to look better than it is. The thing you have to realize is that there is a massive uh, jobs crisis in this country right now. I don't remember the exact number so don't quote me on these exact numbers, but there's something like 12 million job openings and about 6 million job applicants right now. And a lot of those job applicants are trying to find jobs that there are not actually open positions for right now. So there's a lot of people that are still looking for jobs. So yes, 467,000 jobs added is great. The sad thing is a lot of those jobs are jobs that disappeared in the last two years that are coming back. So it's yeah. not really like we're seeing a lot of growth. It's more like we're seeing a little bit of recovery. So that's the first thing I want to say there. When the CPI numbers come out and job reports come out, the government, the Department of uh, uh, the, the Department of uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics is what I'm trying to think of. They want the economy to look like it's doing really well because the government wants everything to look great because all the politicians that are in power right now want to get reelected. And by the way, I'm not blaming the entire the entire economic fallout of the last two years on our politicians. There was a global crisis that took place in 2020. I get that that's going to have an impact on the economy no matter what happens. My point is politicians don't want egg on their face, so they're going to say, yeah, okay, we got 467,000 new jobs, and they're going to brag about it even though we've lost you know, millions of them and we're still trying to recuperate. The economy is not in a great spot right now no matter what the job report said. With that yeah. said, it is getting better. And the reason that that is important is because as the job market does get better, that gives more stability and that gives more security to different people in the uh, retail space so that they will be more inclined to go and invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. If you are living and you've got a $2,000 a month income and you've got maybe 1500 bucks in the bank account and rents $1,100 and you're trying to pay those bills, you don't have money to invest in cryptocurrency. You scoff at the idea of putting money in anything other than bare necessities. And a lot of people are living like that right now. And that's really sad. Sad. The good news is crypto is the avenue, the most powerful avenue that we have ever witnessed to find financial sovereignty. That means freedom from control of government institutions that have control over your finances and also freedom from poverty and not having the money that you need to be able to, succe uh, to successfully pursue your purpose. Crypto gives you that ability, but to get invested in crypto and to really get started in crypto, most people need to have a small sense of security because they see crypto as a very daunting industry. For them to do that, they need to have jobs. They need to feel, okay, I have some income. I have some disposable income that I can invest in Bitcoin. And after they're in Bitcoin, they'll realize, okay, wait a second. You know, instead of spending $100 a month on Starbucks, I'm going to spend 100 bucks a month on Bitcoin. But they've got to get over that initial hurdle of thinking, I'm going to lose all my money in crypto. And uh, it's down 50% right now. So the fact that more people are going back to work, the economy starting to continue, uh, is continuing to move forward is a very good thing because it's giving stability to the retail investor in the in the traditional space, not in the crypto space, in the crypto space too, but specifically in the traditional space. And that's going to help those people to be more inclined to go and buy Bitcoin, which is very, very very important. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely consider subscribing because we're trying to help you become financially free in these cryptocurrency markets. And also consider following us on Twitter at CryptoJeb for more updates on the price of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Peace.